welcome to mechanical tutorial i am going to teach you different techniques in solid works for mechanical engineers i am going to train you different modules like surface modeling sheet metal and enclosure design product design plastic components design reverse engineering and many more tips and tricks in solid works hi today's topic is creating blocks i am going to explain how to create block insert block edit and save blocks many other options of the block feature see so have created a sketch so i'll consider this as a logo so i can create a new block and to select all the entities and we can select the insertion point so i will take this as a insertion point say okay now i am coming out of this cage i want to insert on this face so select this cage so i can insert this block i can insert this block n number of times so if i click like this i can place anywhere any time i want so i can use this block for extrude see here so i'll consider this as a logo now if i want to modify the block then what i have to do is insert the block place it somewhere in the sketch now see the block is inserted here we can see there is a rebuild icons so we can rebuild this now we can edit this block see the sketch is opened now suppose if i want to modify the some of the dimensions so for example this i am going to increase so it is modified i can modify any dimension and save this block so that's how we can edit this block and we can further use this block see here see it is modified to 360 now if i want to use the same block say i am rebuilding it all the if i want to use this block not in this file i want to use in some other file or some other system so i can add this into library in a design library there is a block folder or else you can create a new folder you can right click here and create a folder 
new folder so you can create new folders and we can rename this block for example logo 22 Now instead of inserting from here, we can straight away go to library and we can select logo to just drag it. And we can place this block. So two methods, one is it with the inserting block if it is a same file or else we can save this file in the design library. We can copy this file. For example, it is copied here, SLD BLK. So we can copy this file and paste anywhere in the other system and we can use this file so mostly this is useful for uh, placing a logo on a component a plastic component or uh, metal components so we can use this logo see once again whenever we edit any block it left side it shows the rebuild icon so we can immediately rebuild so I have shown you how to create block, edit block, save block in same file as well as in design library, insert block. Now I am going to show you explode block. See when we click explode block, see it converts to sketch. Or else, suppose if you have inserted any block, so I am taking this and it whenever we make a block, it converts into single entity. So we can straight away right click and we can say explode. So it converts to multiple entities. Then we can modify. Now similarly, after exploding, we can add or remove entities. For example, I want to remove this arc. So I'm, I can remove this arc by deleting. And instead of arc, I am going to add one line. So we can add one entity so we can add or remove entities in the block and we can select this and make a block so for example so i have converted into block so it is converted converted into 14 Here I have two types of blocks. See one is initial one. Next I am going to insert modified block. See 14. So we can have two versions. And we can have multiple versions of this logo. So that's how we can add and remove entities in the block by exploding and editing the block now i have shown you how to rebuild this block so whenever we modify any block it shows in a rebuild error see left side we have to rebuild or control b so i can use this block for extrude see here I have already shown before 
and I can use the same block for removing the material. So I can say through all both sides or through all. See here. Now I am going to show you how to scale a block or rotate a block. So we have to insert a block, place it here and we have to mention the scale. See it is reducing. So we can delete the previous one. and we can move it to desired location. Similarly, we can insert a block and we can rotate it for any angle. Suppose 45 degrees, see here, it is rotated with 45 degrees. So we can see the difference original is right side and rotated with 45 degrees is left side. So we can resize it or rotate it. So I have covered how to make block, edit block, save block, add or remove entities in a block, insert block, explorer block, rebuild, scale and rotating of a block. Now how do we convert a block into DXF? See, we have to edit this block. Simply edit this. copy this because we can we are not able to save this file so come out of this block come out of this sketch also now select this face go to new sketch and go to edit and we can paste this sketch now we can save as this file and we have to select the option DXF so here we can rename it like logo 21 and say ok so one more option we have is we can import DXF file So mostly we do it from AutoCAD. So we can import any complex geometry. See we have n number of entities. So we can simply select this and we can make a block. Now it's easy for us to move this block. 
otherwise if it is a complex geometry it's difficult to move so we can convert this thing as a single entity and we can use this block so i have saved this file in the design library i can simply pick and drop and i can place it here now i will use cut extrude and make it through all so it converts to multi bodies so we can use this as a design so we can use any complex designs in dxf format and we can import through either from dxf file or we can use design library and make it as a block and placing it in, placing in the sketch so this is one of the method so similarly we can use block for text also see here so you can see this text i can select this text and make block so it is showing sketch text one i can select the location i can use this pointer anywhere suppose for example i want to place it somewhere here so i can use this block now if i want to insert this block simply select insert and i have a block 17 so i can place anywhere so even we can use blocks for text so this is a brief about how to create blocks in solidworks thanks for watching